Sasha. Hey guys, Danny here again with the Power Rock Systems uh, along with Adam. There's some misinformation in regards to voltage cutoffs or that the mercury cuts off if there's um, a 20 amp load. Uh, actually, some people have stated that if it reaches three and a half amps or four amps, that channel shuts down. So what we're gonna do in this, um, in, in this test and this demonstration is not only show you that the system can handle a load of five amps that should demonstrate that the three and a half to four amps is not correct. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go all the way up to 20 amps draw out of that one uh, output. This one is connected directly to our electronic loader. Uh, this will put a calibrated load onto anything that we want. So what we're doing is we're putting a load to simulate a locked up servo that would pull 20 amps and we're gonna take this up to five amps. Five amps is what some had said it would cause a cutoff. We're running at five amps, we're pulling nine watts, I mean 0 0.11, 0 0.12 watts, and everything is still functioning correctly. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go up to 10 amps. So we have a 10 amp draw. Everything continues to work correctly. We're gonna go ahead and ramp this up to 15 amps. We're at 15.5 amps. You can see how it's dropping. It's pulling the voltage down. And now we're gonna go ahead and pump this up to 20 amps or as much as this thing will give us. So right now we're at 21.6 amp. It's pulling and we still have complete control of this unit. Every single axis, every single servo, running at 7.4 volts. This is pulling 1.53 watts. And we're still in operation here. We're pulling 21 amps through that channel and our system is still fully operational. All right guys, this is, um, <laughs> this is take two of what we, of the shorting out. We've already done this once. Um, but we wanted to actually do it again just to see because the actual port that we used, port F, was still functional. So we wanna double test it. And what we're gonna do again is we're gonna do what we did in the first video, which we take a wire that's completely shorted. We have all the channels connected to this, to our core system. And we wanna demonstrate that even if you short out a port, that the plane will continue to fly. So without further ado again, we're going to go ahead and plug this. I'm using long needle nose pliers this time because it is, uh, it's a pretty spectacular situation. So uh, let's go ahead and do this and then I'm gonna show you that everything still works. So plug it in. All the circles still function. <laughs> All right, <coughs> we're completely, um, It's still completely functional. And what we have here is a completely shorted out wire. It's actually melted into oh, the mercury no, case. messed up the mercury case. Um, there is, it snapped the lead. This is actually the negative. Um, ooh, it still has power running through it. And as I said, we still have function. So what we're gonna do now without editing is we're gonna go ahead and disconnect this mess and we're going to connect one of the other servos right back into that port this is the throttle servo we had set throttle up. servo so is this servo here is now on the a this servo is now on the a -line. so that port is still functional see see now oh, oh, sorry, go ahead. see it still works so what we're demonstrating here that is to kind of correct some of the misinformation that's out there that says that we have either poly fuses or that we have a system that actually shuts off if it pulls too much amperage. And I think this shows you that our system is not, is not intended to shut down. It doesn't have any amp outs. This system is intended to fly your plane until the last minute. 